Hi, I'm T, and we have Nicole in her home, and we're the founders of Cocktail Creation. We would like to thank you for joining for our cocktail class sponsored by Jessica Shea Incorporated. Today we'll be teaching a Tom Collins cocktail, as Jessica mentioned. I'll be turning my camera to focus on the bartending setup as my co-founder, Nicole Hassoon, teaches the class to you. She's an incredible distiller, a mixologist, and we'll share with you a quick history of the cocktail and how to craft this class, classic cocktail, how to tailor it to your own personal taste, and um, also be able to explore the different flavors of gin. Nicole, are you ready? Absolutely, let's make a Tom Collins. So if everyone is ready, I'm gonna give you a little bit history um, of this cool, amazing cocktail. Um, then I'll run through the ingredients and the tools that we are gonna use, and then we will make it together. It's such an easy cocktail, it won't be an issue. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about how you can put your personal spin on it to make it a truly unique cocktail. So. Tom Collins has one of my favorite stories of a drink of all time. Um, basically, this drink was an actual national hoax in 1874. So it was called the Great Tom Collins Hoax of 1874. And it went like this. Uh, you would have a friend that would come to you and say, hey, T, uh, I just want to let you know, I was down at the local bar and somebody was really just like slandering your name. They were saying you were good for nothing. They couldn't do anything. Uh, you know, they were just like really tearing you apart. And I don't know why, but their name was Tom Collins. So like, if you go down to your bar and ask the bartender for Tom Collins, he'll know exactly who they are. They've been there all week. Uh, and you really should go address that. So, you know, you'd get all riled up and be like, okay, I'm going to handle this. Uh, so you run down to your local bar and go to the bartender and say like, you know, where's Tom Collins? And they say, just sit down for one second. Uh, you know, uh, let me, let me figure this out. And they'd come back and they'd put a, a sour drink in front of you and say, that's your Tom Collins. And it got so many people that, that newspapers were running with the story. And it was pretty, pretty amazing. So in 1874, there was a really cool cocktail hoax and it turned out to be one of my favorite cocktails of all time. Um, all right. So, you hopefully had a little bit of time to go gather your ingredients and your tools. Uh, it's pretty simple. And as all cocktails, all best cocktails, if you ask me, um, it starts with gin. So uh, I'm gonna use a really botanical heavy gin. You don't have to use gin. Actually, any um, white spirit will work in the exact same proportions uh, for this cocktail. It's great. Um, so you could use tequila, you can use vodka, you can use all kinds of wonderful things. Um, but I love gin and the classic is made with gin. The true, you know, trash talking Tom Collins was made, made with gin. So we just need gin. We need half of a fresh lemon. Um, really, we're trying to juice about three quarter ounce. If you go a little bit below or a little bit over, that's okay. You can always adjust to taste. We need fresh lemon. We need simple syrup. Simple syrup is, you know, literally in its name about how easy it, it is to make. It is just equal parts water and sugar heated to a temperature where the sugar can fully dissolve in the water. Um, and then you can just cool it. So you can make it in the microwave, just heat it up uh, just for a minute or so. Equal parts sugar and water. Mix it all up. Put it in a bottle. Let it cool. You can use that all week to make drinks. And then finally, we're going to top with sparkling water. Um, and that's the whole drink. And the simpler the drink, the better. And that really allows you to kind of make it unique and make it yours. Because with simple ingredients, you can really play up with one other ingredient. Um, and we'll show you what we like to do with that as well. As far as tools go, I'm using a two-piece shaker. A uh, two-piece shaker lets you put ice liquid in there and shake it cold. If you don't have that, it doesn't matter. If you have like a blender bottle, that is the easiest thing. It does exactly the same thing. As long as you can seal something up and shake it cold, you're good to go. Uh, I'm using something to measure out the liquid. This is called a uh, double-sided jigger or a Japanese jigger. And, um, you know, it measures in ounces. So big side is two ounces, small side is one ounce. And there's different measurements in there. If you don't have that, you can measure with tablespoons. And the conversion is... Half an ounce of liquid is one tablespoon. So for our recipe, we're dealing with two ounces of gin, which is four tablespoons. 
half an ounce of simple syrup, which is one tablespoon, and three quarter ounce of fresh lemon, which is one and a half tablespoons. And then we're gonna top it with sparkling water. Um, so it's easy to convert, no, no worry about that. All right, so if we're ready to make a drink, um, let's start. In the shaker tin or whatever you're using to make your cocktail cold, we're gonna put the ice first. So I fill my tin up about a third of the way with ice. Uh, and that's, you know, enough to get this cold and let the ice really bounce around a little bit. The reason we put the ice first is if you put your drink in first and the ice in second, um, your drink is bound to splash and uh, you'll lose your drink. And that's just a bummer, you know? All right. So the next step of what I always put on top of my ice is my spirit of choice. So I'm using gin. If you're using tequila, great substitute. Vodka, no problem, but keep it to the same proportion. So it's two ounces of gin or whatever spirit. And if you're converting, that's four tablespoons. And pour that in right over the ice. Next, we're going to put half an ounce of our simple syrup. So in our uh, double-sided jigger, I have a line that shows me half an ounce. If you don't have that, it's just one tablespoon of simple syrup in the shaker tin. Now, we're gonna juice our lemon. So you can use a reamer, you can use a hand juicer, anything like that. I'm gonna go old school and I'm just gonna kind of like bear claw squeeze uh, my lemon into the uh into my uh, measuring tool so i can make sure that i can get right around three quarter ounce so i'm gonna do it into my small side here and just gently squeeze which is it's a pretty juicy lemon it's less than half of my lemon and that goes right on top so that's it three three ingredient cocktails are honestly the best cocktails in the world there's a reason why this cocktail has been a hit since the 1870s or before, uh, because the simpler the better. It lets each individual piece shine. And you'll see once you make it and taste it, it's hard to not love this drink. So we're gonna seal it up and we're gonna make it cold. So this is, you know, my favorite part of making a drink. It's the part that you can put a little flair on. It's really fun, but we're gonna shake it. And um, the shake is simple, but it takes a little bit of practice. So uh, when you're shaking, you want to grab your shaker with two hands and the motion is front and back in addition to up and down. And I'll show you what that's like. So basically I'm going to do it till my hands are cold. Like Woo. You know, you can always put a little music on, dance for everyone. It's, it's a pretty fun thing. Uh, my hands are freezing cold at this point, and I know that my drink is ready. So, if you have one of these glasses, this is called a Collins glass. This is uh, what this drink was made to be put in. This was made for this drink. Um, it's a tall cylinder. Um, if you don't have that, it doesn't matter. Put it in any glass that you can put ice in and then, you know, drink out of, which is all glasses. So, we're going to fill this glass up with ice. We like to go to the top. Um, and the reason we don't just dump the uh, what we just made with the ice that's in that tin into this glass is that ice has already been used up. You know, we've shaken it, we've broken it down. Um, it's lost a lot of that surface area, which means it'll melt a lot faster. And, and so we've cooled our drink, but we don't wanna water it down too much past this point. So the bigger uh, ice that we can put in our glass, the better. So now that we've put ice in our Collins glass, we're going to use a strainer to strain the liquid into the glass. If you don't have a strainer like this, this is called a Hawthorne strainer, you can use anything that will strain. You can use a, like a fine mesh sieve uh, to pour it in, or if you think you're gonna drink it fast, no judgment pass at all, you can pour all of what's in your glass or all of what's in your, your shaker into your glass. And uh, we like to call that very nicely, it's called the dirty dump. Uh, when you put everything into that glass. And really, that's, that is okay. Just know that it might get watered down a little bit faster. 
So now that we have um, made the base of this drink, we need to make it a little bit uh, sparkling because it's really cool. This kind of drink hits everywhere on the tongue that we want. So we've got the sour, sweet, savory, um, uh, bitter, all of that from the lemon and the, the sugar and, and the gin itself. Um, but the bubbles, the bubbles are actually something that really excite the palate. And it's a pretty important and refreshing uh, addition. So after we just top uh, with the sparkling water, you just take something. You can take a chopstick or a spoon or anything. You can jam your finger in there. We just wanna give it a quick little stir so that the sparkling water gets in every part of that cocktail and you're getting uh, uh, the same drink from the top to the bottom. We're not getting sparkling water on top and the cocktail on the bottom. Um, so the last part, well, we should do one thing. My favorite thing is the taste test. Mm, make sure you didn't mess it up. That's really good. <laughs> and, uh, and now we're gonna garnish. Um, so for this, the traditional garnish is a lemon wheel and a cherry. Uh, we like to go a little bit different. We really love dehydrated fruits. And uh, what we have is a beautiful dehydrated strawberry and a little dehydrated le a lime. And these things are going to work really well with this refreshing cocktail. And uh, to make it a little bit more fun, we talked about, you know, how you can take, take this cocktail and do variations of it. Um, in the best place to do it, and it's, instead of changing the spirit, which will really change it up, is actually making changes to the simple syrup itself. So the, what I actually made this drink with was the most basic. It is white sugar mixed with water at equal proportions. Um, but you can do some really cool things. So what we have here is a strawberry simple syrup. And um, this is basically that same proportion, sugar to water, with fresh strawberry added in and all cooked together. So it really pulls a lot of that flavor out of there. Oh, and it smells amazing. So I'm just going to put a little bit extra on top. Um, and it really complements the garnish that we had as well. So I hope this helped you make a really wonderful classic cocktail. Um, and, uh, you know, cheers to everyone. You know, thanks for joining. Mm. All right. Are we back to me? Yeah, back to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Everyone have your glass up. We're gonna do a virtual cheers in a second. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is check out this brand new virtual relationship building platform that we have discovered called Icebreaker. If you hear some noise in the back, there is a motorboat going by, my apologies. <laughs> I can't control that. <laughs> 